I've chosen to open the exhibition with this work, Palace. I chose it partly because this wonderful architectural facade reminds me of the courtyard of Burlington House, where of course we have not just the Royal Academy of Arts, but the learned societies as well. Because although this is a palace, it could equally well be a museum, and it's an image that really summarises a lot about Cornell's approach. Part of what he was doing through collecting many objects and arranging found objects within these small dioramas was making a microcosm of the wider world. Of course, it's a very theatrical piece as well. Um, it reminds us of stage sets and scenery. And of course, if you're a fan of Wes Anderson's films, it can't help but recall the Grand Budapest Hotel. Cornell, of course, was very interested in fairy tales as well. And uh, that's another reference that's going on here. The story of Sleeping Beauty, um, who falls asleep and whilst she's dreaming, a forest grows up around her. And that's another reason why this is an important work for for the show. If one were to pick out a, a theme in addition to travel that really is essential to Cornell's work, it would be the passage of time. And here we have that, that idea of time suspended, which is um, an idea that uh, runs throughout his works. All of the windows in this palace have actually been carefully cut out by Cornell, and what we see when we look into them is in fact our own reflection. And all of Cornell's works are, in many ways, little stage, stages and theatres prepared for, for us, for, our, for us to view them and to imagine our own stories.